Hello and welcome to These Unfortunate Ones, a Thief 2 fan mission by Just Some Music Guy. Uh, this is also a 2022 release um, from October, if my uh, maths is right. Maybe July. Um, depends on which way around they write their dates, I guess. Um, and it's Just Some Music Guy's first Thief t mission. Um, they're a relative latecomer to a Thief Andromed. So it's cool. New map, new authors. Uh, it doesn't have a briefing video, so let's read the text. These are desperate times. Business has been slow lately, while prices for the most basic of commodities in the city keep rising. I'll have to pull a bigger job if I want to avoid having to beg for scraps at the local inn. Luckily, it seems that one such opportunity has presented itself. Willem, an associate of one of my regular fencers, has reached out to me to propose a cooperation. Apparently Willem has been known as a decent lookout and scout for bigger burglary jobs in the city, usually involving multiple members of the Thieves Guild, but word on the street is, is he's freelancing now. He said he's got a target in the district of Spirestead, who's got too many valuables for his own good. Willem proposed to provide valuable information about the target, Lord Jean du Monde, by spying on him and surveying his mansion and his surroundings. He said he wants a cut of the profit in return. Normally I'd prefer to work alone, but the current situation doesn't leave me much of a choice, what with the lack of high-profile jobs lately, and the landlord breathing down my neck. So I told Willem that I'm game. It won't be easy. The city watch have been looking for me, so I assume I'm a wanted man in Spirestead. As of now, Willem should have all the information I need, including the most valuable item Lord Jean de Monde has in his possession, which I'm going to relieve him of. We've agreed to meet in Willem's apartment in Spirestead, just north of the Canal Bridge, across from the tavern. He'll give me his reconnaissance report. And then it's my turn to get to work. Alright. Apparently the... Uh, right, we just have the traditional don't kill anyone, don't kill innocents, don't kill anyone. Uh, apparently there's no other difference uh, in objectives in difficulty settings. So meet with your associate, Willem, in his apartment across from the tavern to collect his reconnaissance report. However tonight's mission plays out, make it count. Steal at least 2,300 worth of valuables. What's that on normal? 1,500 it was? 1,500, 23, 34. Okay. Those are nice numbers. I like those kind of blue numbers. Try to keep it professional. Don't kill any servants or civilians. When you've got what you came for, get back to the streets, to the entrance to the spire set where you started the mission. Alright. We do not begin with a map. We have to find the tavern and uh, find our friend's apartment. Oh. The streets are lit, but not too well. I could live with this. The question is, where's the tavern? I mean, I could start robbing houses, but I kind of want to... Is that a tavern? No, it doesn't look like a tavern. Nice night. How goes your watch? All's well my way. Mine too. Rather be sleeping though. Oh, there's a tavern. It must be his apartment. Let's say something stupid like there's the tavern tape out. Like the signboard. Payments redoubt. Something there? Ooh, is someone show up in there? Always nothing. It's never anything exciting. We have to pick the lock to this place? Oh wait, I was see on the upper floor. I guess the answer to that is no, he's not on the upper floor. Let's Oh you mean he gave us a key. Willem, you here? Garrett, was that you? Yeah. 
Hello? Do you really need to say? Alright, well, let's read your report. Yeah, I'd say my reconnaissance has been fruitful, even though it wasn't without risk. Surveilling the mansion and talking to a few specific individuals, I've been able to gather a handful of facts that will be useful for the hard part of this job. Your part. First of all, about Lord John Dumont himself. Ardent collector of trinkets and baubles, mainly antique weapons and similar curiosities. His latest acquisition, the Sword of the Holy Knight, currently prominently on display in the parlour, where Jean and his wife Jacqueline frequently receive guests they want to persuade to go into business with them. It's heavily guarded, and the sword is allegedly not even as valuable as it appears, which is why this shouldn't be your target. Instead, your focus should be the jeweled ceremonial hammer that Jean Dumont is rumoured to have in his possession. Lord Dumont is known to have had strong affiliations with the Hammerites, and with the recent rise of the Mechanists, is said to have hidden all his Hammerite artifacts out of fear of being on anyone's bad side. While most of the guests and guards in this mansion will be in or around the parlour, you can snoop around and find out where Dumont has stashed his most precious possessions, including this jeweled hammer. I reckon getting inside Lord Dumont's estate is no easy feat. Going in through the front gate is out of the question, and a wall surrounds the mansion on all sides. However, there may be a way to get to the caves underneath this district, which may eventually lead to a way in. While I was gathering this information for you, even though I couldn't get inside the estate, I was able to draw a rough map for you. It's enclosed with this report. Some additional bits of information. Jean Dumont entrusts certain personal affairs to his secretary, Isaac, who has his own room in the mansion. Chaos Dimitio has been involved with certain renovations Dumont has had done on his mansion. I've marked his house on your map. The Mechanist Workshop should definitely have some useful tools worth nabbing that'll make your mission a bit easier. Uh, and that's everything I was able to gather before the City Watch almost caught me. I thought I got away, but they're right outside, Garrett. Inspector Rickard and Inspector Agnes at the City Watch. They've confiscated the pub across the street and are plotting something. I dare not leave this room. You're on your own now. Best of luck, friend. Willem. <laughs> I think that about covers it. Okay, yeah, I mean, it does about cover it. Holding up is not the way to avoid getting caught, man. If they're, if they're watching you, you want to, like, get up to the roof and get out across the rooftops. Can't put out the candle. Hmm. Do you have anything good in your place, mate? Nothing. I mean, maybe they're just at the pub for a drink, you know, like... Sometimes the cops like to uh, drink as well. We do have a suspicious closet here with a suspicious... bit of room. I guess that's part of that room there. No, it isn't. You see, I'm just suspecting that maybe you've got a secret door behind here, but I can't really see one, so maybe I'm just too suspicious for my own good. Because if you did have one, there'd have to be a switch somewhere, and I can't find a, see any switch anywhere. Of course, it is really dark in here, and rather too light in my own room. So I'm having trouble seeing. Hello, got another apartment. I'd love to break in a steel stuff, but they're gonna see me, right? Hmm. Do I just like deal with them? Sure, why not? You you <laughs> Just you'll wake up on your bed. It'll just be a bad dream and your gold candlestick will be missing. Just like last week. <laughs> Anything else around bed? Nah. I don't know if she ever turns around or not, whether he could have snuck in, but I don't have the patience for that. Alright. Now we should have a map. Aha. So, um... Right, three is the apartment building, one is the tavern. Right, so now we can start looking around these places, I suppose. We've got... City Watch Station, Case to Metzio's residence, definitely worth checking out. The Mechanist Workshop worth checking out. Two lower dicks districts. Hmm. And then he's got a big mansion over there. Well, 
All right. Well, I'm going to head back across the river and check out some of the buildings down on the southern side here before heading to Mansion. Right, our objectives change. Right, obtain a more detailed map of Dumont's Mansion, which we can probably do from the, uh, the guy with the renovations, right? people around. What I didn't do is do an equipment check. What do I have? Sword, blackjack, five broadheads, five waters, not a single rope arrow. Observant. Good for me. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Pixton, I'm writing to let you know that your neighbor Stanley has installed a device in his apartment, which is indubitably a telescope, that is facing right towards my window. I find this unacceptable, and I intend to take him to court to ensure that he will be forced to move elsewhere and take his creepy behavior with him. I assume this information is new to you, and I hope to have you hereby informed you adequately. I invite you both to discuss this further with me and my downstairs neighbor over a nice cup of tea. Maybe we can ensure that whoever will be the next tenants of the apartment in question will be decent folk. Sincerely, your neighbour from across the canal, Linda. Take your purse, man. Did you get nothing else here? Oh, yeah. So we did see... Telescope there. Is that a ledge? Looks kind of like the ledge there, but this is not really going to be jumpable, right? Yes, is that you, sweetie? Yeah, it's just me. Without any ropes. Oh, she's coming to look. Is that you, sweetie? I just want to hit you on the head and run screaming for the guards. Nothing serious. She's not coming all the way out here, are you? I would definitely have to hit you on the head then. Look, I hurt myself, alright? You don't have to be so riled up. I don't have any healing or food. So if I had a rope arrow, I'd have no problem. So maybe I should see if those mechanists have any rope arrows or anyone. Maybe. <laughs> see if this place has any. Banners have to die. That was a Broadhead, not not a rope arrow. Nice beams you got here. <laughs> hmm. Right, there's the cops in the pub. I wonder if they are having a conversation we might spy on. Mm, no. 
think I'm just going to draw attention to myself. Like I'm not already. Is this the neighbor who's complaining about the telescope? I'm afraid you've got somebody creepier in your house. Somebody's literally creeping in through and stealing everything that isn't nailed down. Very dark in here. Hello? Oh, that looks valuable. Please, not so much. Oh, this is the downstairs neighbor, right? Not the person who read the letter. So for a brief interruption there. All right, where am I going? North. Good. It's not. It's not feel like a safe place to hide. It is not a safe place to hide. Maybe this is a safe place to hide. What did our friend have to say? Uh, about getting in? Maybe a way to get to the caves. Okay, I thought he said sewers, not just caves. Whoa. I mean, this is not really what I was trying to get to, I think, but. Beautiful darkness where I can't see a thing. It's beautiful. Thanks. Boards. That the seven tail talk? No, it's just a barrel hoop. Hello? Warning. By order of the City Watch, a section of the sewer that lies beyond this door will remain closed off indefinitely. Due to unforeseen circumstances that have occurred after digging downwards and unveiling the old step well to expand our sewerage system, the situation has been labelled as extremely dangerous. Until further notice, work on our expanding our sewer system is halted. Please direct any inquiries about this notice to the nearest City Watch station. Bet I can't pick that lock, right? Okay. Well, that's interesting. That's worth noting, right? There's a sewer entrance here. S. Sewers. East. To locked door. Lower Just feels like something I should be uh, checking out if I get an opportunity. This one we can pick. Hmm, more sewers there, hang on. What have we got through here? Blue lights. Maybe that's part of the old sewer system. You okay there, Rat? You're squeaking a lot. Ah, spiders. Of course there's spiders. Super spiders. Six broadheads. Maybe I want to try and uh, get some with my sword. 
blackjack. Send a bill to the uh, council for cleaning up their uh, mess for them. You know what? I'm going to actually turn the lights on because I'm having that much trouble seeing in this room, which is. I have all the lights off, but I have the blind closed. But the sun is still shining in through the blind and kind of making it difficult to see. Is that open? No, it doesn't appear to. Alright, we've got... Okay, another sewer exit. Where does this one come out? <sighs> hmm. I don't know. Let's... See if I recognise anything. That looks like the mechanist place. That's not where we were told it is. Maybe I'm on the wrong side of it. Ah, probably up here. This corner. Yes, that would be the maximum place. Okay, so there's a sewer entrance there as well. Let's do this. Locked door in the east of sewers. Need the key. Leads to lower all the sewers. Um, didn't it say the key was city maintenance? I don't know. I don't remember. I have to check if I get back there. Take my uh, the builder will guide me to direction. Oh, wow, lots of potions. Flash bomb. Okay, see, I didn't have one of those. See, I saw this and I thought it was like the silent floor that the mechanists love and the non slip silent floor, but now it's. Oh, it is, but there's metal all around it. Oh, I didn't notice. I wonder who made such a ruckus. Alright, let's close the door in case there's a city watch out there. Honourable friends of the Mechanist Order, I am writing to you in response to the previous missive I have received from you. I understand your concern about any affiliation I might have had with the Hammerites. I can assure you, however, that as of now, all ties with the Hammerite Order have been severed, and I have annulled all periodic financial support towards their cause. I, for one, am convinced that the Hammerites do not follow the true path of the Master Builder, and I'm thusly very much interested in joining your ranks. That being said, I'd like to inquire about any opportunities to purchase your newest security devices. I am truly impressed with your mechanist technology, and I'm convinced these devices will be a very welcome addition to my mansion. I am willing to compensate you generously for this. In fact, I own several valuable ancient artifacts that may interest your order. I'd be happy to share them with you friends, should we go into business with each other. I hope to have hereby assured you of my good intentions toward the mechanist movement, and I look forward to your response. Respectfully, Jean de Monde. Rope arrows. Rope arrows. Can you believe it? What does the mechanist want with a rope arrow? I don't know, but they're mine now. Alright. Nothing in that one. Another flash bomb. A few more broadheads. Wait. 
had six broadheads already when I was down in the sewer. That was zero broadheads I just picked up. What? So I was looking at the number when I was deciding not to use one for the, uh, for the spider. I'll pick that up. Thank you. Well, I don't suppose it matters. Maybe I misremembered. I don't know. Anyway, I don't think I had any more sour. I still don't have any more sour, so... Yeah, I should have jumped to this carpet, the carpety stuff I spiders, but... Oh well, too late now. Alright, well we've got Rovaros. We've been here. Um, you know, I can just do it this way, I suppose. Oh, the City Watch was... they said, they said check out the City Watch, right? Uh, City Watch has the key. Alright. So we could go back through the sewers. I mean, I was trying to head up this way, right? To begin with, but on the other side. I was trying to go up this street. And I guess this doesn't back onto that street, so it didn't help me to go there. But I want to, now that I have a repair, let's actually retrace my steps. Let's leave that open. It's nice and visible. Oh. Reward arrows. Okay, that's nice. Nothing there. Oh, and this downside of leaving it open is, is uh, the noise from above. This doesn't matter. The city watch, yes. City watch has the key. Well, they better. Hey, ready. <laughs> so, so, is this where I came in? Must be where I came in. Yeah. Alright, this is heading north. Well, not really heading north. It doesn't look like south. Well, there's more sewers to explore, but it's not where I want to be right now, I think. Elevator to the low district is open from sunrise until sundown. Outside of these hours, entrance to the elevator is strictly forbidden by order of the city watch. I guess we're not getting to the low districts that way. Fair enough. Oh, hello. I see a window ledge there. Looks to me like it's made of wood. Let's test that theory, shall we? Brief History of Spirestead, Part 1. The Divine Wings of Tragedy by R. Allen. Some more loot by Garrett. Alright, oh, there's a light and I can turn on and off well. Doesn't really matter, but I guess it'd be nice if I'm sitting in the window box not to be lit up like a uh, Christmas tree. I guess it would be anyway, thanks to that. There's mechanist uh, things in the low districts as well. I don't have much room to get behind this guy. I don't know where their friend is on the adjoining street. Just 
get out of the past, shall we? Oh no, there's too much current. I can't swim upstream against that, can I? Oh, I can. I don't know why. I was just stuck underneath it. Okay. Well, I'll get the city <laughs> water rolled up again. Good work, Garrett. I thought by coming here I'd escape them, but apparently not. On the other hand, I should be able to use the repair now to get on that ledge. Let the guards <laughs> worry about their own business for a while. Day one, Raven's Hour. Spotted the Epilides today. Not completely clear, but enough to recognize and identify its shape. Can't wait for tomorrow, then Curulumium will be in the right position at the right time. Day two, I'll slumber. Bad weather today. Too bad, I've been looking forward to studying Curulumium. Day four, late night, hour unknown. Spotted a comet this night. I had stayed up several hours in the hopes of spotting something interesting, and it was worth it. You only see something like this every once in a while. I'm tired, I'm going to sleep now. Day 8. Met the neighbour from across the canal today. I greeted her, but she turned her nose up at me and ignored me. She seemed angry about something. She must have been in a bad mood. So, uh... He is literally just studying the, uh... The skies. Right. Very good. <laughs> Hmm, is that a wooden window box there as well? It looks like it. Whoops. Missed the rope. Oh dang, the rope didn't go high enough. I'm oh, gonna have to clank along these pipes again some more. Get everybody spooked. <sighs> Escape justice. Oh. It's trying to get spotted. This is an awkward mantle, a very thin edge like this. Not reliable. <laughs> Tired of failing to impress other people? Are you insecure because you have no special talents? Or are you simply looking for a way to defend yourself without having to rely on heavy weaponry? Look no further than the magics of Maestro Mirasco. In only three weeks you will learn the basics of elemental magic. Harness the power of fire, water, wind and earth and you will be conjuring fireballs and ice shards within a matter of time. Only 300 gold per session. Five sessions a week for three weeks. You'll be a novice conjurer before you know it. More on the next page. Maestro Mirasco can be found at the Spiced at Bear or in his magic shop in Hightown. Maestro Mirasco cannot be held accountable for any damages that may have been caused by elemental magics or any other type of spell that the user may have cast. Don't wait until you're a castaway, start casting your own spells today! Oh, that's overlooking the same street, okay. That's nice consistency at least. Well, I mean, give me a consistent understanding of the place, rather than this. It's kind of what I mean. 
Let's hope she doesn't come in here. Ring by the bedside, okay, nice. Anything on top of that? No. Nope. Oh, it's not blocking the light either. Alright, we're going back to the canal. I guess the best way down is down. But it wasn't getting stuck on the tight edge. Hello, what's this down here? Something what? Nice. And does that open and give us access to the sewers? It does not. Surprising, really. Hello, water arrow. Water crystal floating there. Okay, so, where do I want to go? Uh, now I've dealt with these places. Guess we should maybe go for the city watch, I don't know. We should try and get a better, a better map, right? Okay, Mr. So let's... I don't think there was any places in here that were relevant for me to get, so let's see where this takes me. I'm curious. Going north. Current upstream. Right, both of these are blowing down and joining there. So sort of slow. Ah, I see. So that's just the sewers, the sewers that we were in before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let me see if there's any other places down here I'm interested in. Like, perhaps the other end of this canal, right? I haven't swum to the eastern end of this canal. Which runs under the city watch and into whatever that is. So the spice that fair? I don't know. Fairground. Fortunately, upstream against the current is pretty slow going. Check to see if any of these open into places we could go in now. Some of the water everything gets extremely blue. Gas arrow or leaking pipe? I think that one's leaking pipe. Uh, it does go up this way, but it's blocked. But this isn't blocked. watch up there. I might have heard if I'd made a clanking noise down there. What is this basement? Oh, all this weird sewer machinery that Garrett never understands. Warning to all sewer and pumping station personnel, the newer section of the sewers where our team has been digging for Project 339 has been closed off indefinitely. The situation is currently labelled as extremely dangerous and it would be irresponsible to have our people keep working on the sewers expansion. Until further notice, work on Project 339 is halted. Please direct any inquiries about this notice to your foreman or the nearest city watch station. Hello? I'll take that. Project... Ah. Let me let me stop for a minute and admire this this mission author's use of very obvious fake doors for non doors. Oh, no oh, no no no! There's nobody here. Didn't expect the city watch to be patrolling down here. Oh, he's just a guard, not a city watch.
He'll be coming back soon, I reckon. Well, they're saying yes, yes, very good having having non doors. Oh, okay. A deep pit full of deep water. So why is this guy guarding this? And do I have any choice but to jump in there? anywhere and I am running out of breath. That does go somewhere though. Okay, there is a way down. Ouch. I mean, I do have a breath potion, but I'd rather not use it. If I can avoid it. See a thing though. Where was even the hole that I swam in before that I saw? There, okay, well. This is an abortive attempt. Let's try again. here and there's light crystals. Oh, ow. Is that the way I came in? No, that's, that's bones. Alright, somebody drowned here and I don't want the next one to be me. Let's come back here. Lovely air pocket of ouch noises in my ears. I did. I would love to know why that happens. I mean, it's a bug in the game or something. It might maybe it only happens with open AL. I don't know. It might be. I don't know if it's because it's an EAX transition or what, or whether it's just room transitions or something. Hello, is that something on the ground there? That looks like something valuable. Shining from afar, yes indeed. Alright, let's get our breath back again. It only ever happens in underwater bits. So I'd love to figure out what is going on to make it happen. Oh, this cave goes a long way and I don't know where. so far that I drown, which is good news. Oh. Better get to work. Uh, this is Demonta State, is it? I mean, I didn't really want to get here so soon. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was exploring. I wasn't wasn't trying to uh, get to his place yet. I'm gonna go back, you know. Got more of the town to loot before I worry about his place. I mean, I guess I could do the town afterwards, but I want the better maps. I definitely want the better maps. If nothing else, I want good maps. Let's go back. on the way back than the way forward. I 
He says as he takes the wrong turn and almost runs out of breath. Alright. We're okay then. Where is this guy who's guarding down here? You know what? This area is the safest place to meet him, I think. Should be pretty dark. Ah, oh, he's right. He's just standing there. Is he just standing there chilling now? He's not actually patrolling. No, he's patrolling. Okay. Shouldn't need this, but just in case. Let's have it ready. He's not going to see me here. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Damn it. Got stuck. In a position where I could not help. I could not do anything. <laughs> well, we're working up the watch, the watch station. Fair enough. <laughs> Damn, Gary, you're making a lot of noise today. Oh, we work up the people at the pub too. God, work everybody up. I do you want to rob the pub? Hmm. Now, were there any? <sighs> Careful, Garrett. Any places out here that are only reachable by rope? It doesn't work like that. Oh shit, they've got an alarm going off there. Great, just one accidental misstep in the damn sewers and then everybody sets the alarm off. Good, good. That's exactly how I want things to play out. Oh, they're searching the street too. You know what? It might. When I find you, you'll regret it. It might be a good idea to just clean up some of this street trash. Oh, if that alarm is going to stay on permanently, that's really going to suck. Just make one mistake. Announcement. Recruitment and out tavern will be closed until further notice. Due to a spate of burglaries and robberies in our city's wealthier districts, spies that included, the City Watch has decided to deploy additional manpower to quell these criminal activities. The tavern will be used as an additional outpost and meeting room for the venerable inspectors of the City Watch. Alright, they have actually completely taken over. Come out and face me, villain. I hit you in the face, is that what you meant? Inspector Ricard, okay, he's got a name. <laughs> Inspector Agnes. Alright. Let's take them in off the street, actually. They're gonna be riled up by alarm. He's oblivious, that's nice. 
This one's just the unconscious body. Doesn't get a name. Did they leave their profits here? I did indeed, I don't mind now. Alright, you can be behind the bar. Oh, hello. Bag of black beans. What is that about? Well, there's nothing else of value here in the pub, so we'll call that done. This alarm does not seem like it's going to reset, does it? Spiestead Park, a commemoration of the founding of Spiestead. Okay. Okay, there's a lot more in the way of streets here. Thinking of the lamp post. <laughs> so the city watch roof. Why couldn't I mantle that? That should have been that should have been fine. I have a healing potion now, so I guess I use it. I don't know why I can't mantle that. It looks perfectly mantleable. Maybe there's a solid thing up there that says stop it. Just as a... No, you can't go there. They should. If you're going to put a fake invisible mantle blocker, you should just make it visible. Like a spiky fence. You can't hide forever. I'm going to use one of my flash bombs, I think. question is, will the alarm reset if I push the button again? Nope. Well, we're gonna have that noise in our face the whole time. Okay, there's more upstairs. Good news is, I have another flash bomb. I may also have the opportunity to get the drop on whoever's upstairs. I think it's only one of them. I apologize for the noise. What's this crumpled note? Tristan, after an unfortunate and embarrassing series of forgotten lock combinations, this time I've decided to make it easier for you to remember. 1. The number of banners hanging in the hallway. 2. Number of barrels up on high. 3. Number of torches in lightning our park. 4. Number of times you've remembered our lock combinations. Memorize it this time or it'll cost you a month's wages. Mendrick, City Watch Captain. I play that number 4. <laughs> That's very good. Oh, it's just a light. Do we have an alarm control anywhere? What if I'm changing the combination by changing the number of banners hanging here, huh? Hmm? Okay, so... The notes. Uh... Number of banners. was two. Number of barrels up on high. Uh, third was number of torches in the park, and fourth was number of times remembered, which is obviously going to be zero. <laughs> That's why I like it. Torches in the park. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to say. Might take another look at that one. There's a grate that I 
Fell down under. Okay, here's the combination. More flares, great. Is that the combination for this safe? Yeah, probably. I can leave the lights on. Alright, let's see about this uh, fellow upstairs. On the roof. This is your last chance. Step out here. I won't hurt you. <sighs> now I go. Oh. Whoops. Tried to grab the arrow from his back, but uh Flash bombed him instead. You know what? That's fine. We'll just put them over here with the rest of the bodies. But we saw something. Okay. I mean, was, I could, I might have had to use the flash bomb anyway. It's not too fussed about about the waste. Well, this is nice. They actually get to watch the whole town. Now, how come I can't put that one out, but the other one I could? They really do get eyes on everything, don't they? Bell Tower. It's over this way. Hello? More flares? That's a lot of flares. Oh, the readme did make a mention of uh, flares potentially being useful in one spot. Hello, is that something down there? No, just texture. There was something down there, I don't know how I reach it. Alright, I'm not going to get into the park this way. Let's get back out. I could get on this roof, but... <laughs> no, it's slippery. Good, good. That's fine. So there's nothing there. Alright. Yeah, here's a windows. There are windows on that side of the place. What is that building? Is that, uh... That's Kirsten Mithios. That's where we need to go there. Scarf. I was thinking it's six with the number of torches in the park, right? What I couldn't see was the right hand side. Let's climb back up the top there. Oh, hello. Some random moss growing here, that's nice. First moss arrow of the game. One, two. Doesn't look like we've got any on the right. I'm gonna call that six. Number of barrels up on high, I guess. Do they keep barrels on the roof? I wasn't stopping to look. I mean, they got barrels down there. Three barrels up here? Four barrels. Uh huh. Six. There's two more down there. How's this rooftop? Is this rooftop anything for me? I should check it out, right? And this just brings me back to where I started without any good way of getting back. No, I should be able to. I should be able to climb back up here. No trouble. So is that six as well? Two six six zero. Not hundred percent certain about this, but let's try it. No. Which is wrong? 
One, two, three, four, five. There's, there's six torches there in the park, unless there's one above me, which I don't think there is. Hmm. There's stuff in there too. It's obviously possible to get in. Just not sure how. Let's see if I can get in from up here. It's a high wall. It doesn't look promising. Drops. It looks like it should be reachable, but it might be blocked off, so I'm clear. Might be that I'm not supposed to do this, and the level designer is trying to say, no, don't, don't try this. I'm gonna... Was there a speed potion there? No, it was a breath potion and healing potion and holy water. Can't make that. <gasps> Ouch. I might reload if these shenanigans don't pay off, because it's clearly shenanigans. <laughs> I'm definitely trying something I'm not really supposed to be doing. Alright. Let's not waste our health. So, I mean, the other number of barrels up on high might not be counting. Those two might not be counting this one. Maybe that's a three or a four instead. Maybe just adding this one in, which is kind of up on high. What order was it? Was, was it? Crumpled note. Where's the crumpled note? Banners, barrels, torches. We've done that. There are, we're only two banners, right? Banners, barrels, torches. Not two, three. What if there's another torch I can't see? Huh. Well, I am unhappy about that. do about it. Unless I can get into the park, which seems difficult. There's a lever that opens this gate. Or presumably opens this gate. Hmm. Also, I was... I guess the City Watch has the key that I need in that safe, right? That's, I was going to say, I didn't find anything about the key, but no. I'm sure that I would have found something about the key. If I go into the safe. Case to Mezio, architect and contractor. Let's see if we can't break into his house. scaffold here. Oh. Right, we've been here. Any food left on the cart? No. So 
metal scaffold? I can't really tell. It looks like it. The wooden plank there, but I'm not sure if it'll take a rope out. It does. <sighs> wow, that alarm is... Oh! We've been in here too. Right, we've looted this place, we knocked her out. He's armed! Somebody get him! No, he saw me. Fred, I mean I guess he's already already spooked. Okay, yes. Good night. <laughs> Where's your bed? I don't want you to sleep too uncomfortably. Well, yes. Sleep in that armchair instead. Alright. Have you got anything for me in case? Architectural drawings. Markings of secret passageways. Mansion floor plan. Okay. I see. Size floor plan. Well, that will do. That will be useful when we get there. Plan profile, page 42. Jean Dumond, a self-proclaimed man of the world, supposed to have travelled to different countries in search of extraordinary artifacts. However, I suspect the man hasn't been outside the borders of our province, not even once. A pompous sluggard, if you ask me. He's had his mansion built some decades ago. Reportedly, it was money inherited from his grandfather. An imposing building. The front entrance opens up to a large foyer on the ground floor with remarkable marble pillars. And at the east side of the mansion is a grand parlour made to entertain guests. The first floor is, interestingly, divided into a northern section and a southern section. The northern section contains the master bedroom, a reading room, and the top section of the library. The southern section contains a sitting room, two more bedrooms, and a bathroom. Both sections have a walkway across the foyer connecting the east and west sides of each respective section. The southern section also has access to the front balcony of the mansion. As of my involvement in Dumont's latest request, the southern section now also leads to an attic which is located above the foyer. This attic was meant as a small expansion, which by now probably functions as a storage room for rubbish, and is, along with the parlour, the only room with a sloped roof supported by timbered roof trusses. Two sections of the estate are distinctly separated from the rest, the guard quarters and the servants' quarters. The guard quarters are located in the back garden consist of no more than one room with several beds. The servants' quarters, although connected to the ground floor of the mansion, are scantily furnished and seem downright shabby. What's more, the kitchen and the servants' bath are located on the opposite side of the mansion, which I find to be quite unpractical. The servants' quarters in the kitchen both have access to the basement. This basement contains a wine cellar, cellar and several generators and plumbing facilities. Current plans for further expansion of the basement are, are on hold for now, because of danger of collapse in the caves below the district. I sometimes wonder how long it will be before our city plunges into a giant hole in the ground because of all those underground caverns and barrack tunnels. Anyway, Jean Dumont pays well. I shall wait his next plans for renovation or expansion. Alright, do I want to take any notes of this? Because I can't pick this up. Um, the section's far, blah, 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 blah. That's fine. Southern section has the attic and balcony. Let's make some notes. And balcony. And also... Attic and parlor have exposed repeat. I mean, this is maybe relevant to me. Uh, top section of library. Oh, we'll find that. Anything else? Guards, servants, blah, blah. Wine cellar and basement. Probably doesn't need to be noted. Architect and connoisseur of fine vouchers. Oh, he's got an alarm switch too. So why is the alarm so loud here? It's because the alarm's in his house as well. Okay. <sighs> Hello. I see pipes running between buildings, but... Um... Maybe not relevant. What 
Was there anywhere interesting to go out this way? It used to be Realton, RNG, Whittlesey. <laughs> well, we can get across the rooftops here. Hmm. Awkward, but it's, it's walkable. Hello, what's... What's that place? Have we been there? I don't think so. Alright, something to remember to check on afterwards. Let's just check around this rooftop. In case any of these windows are open. They are not. Alright. Well, ground floor will do me... Ground level will do me nicely then. Again, died. No competition for me then. Well, it's definitely an upstairs, so I'm going to try breaking through to the upstairs, I think. Do you have a name? No, you're Mr. Corpse. That's all you are. Digging tunnels. This is not going where I expected to go. This looks like it's going down. Oh, I was going to go down this far. Oh, does this lead into the park? Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Is there anywhere I can attach a rope to there? It's hard to see. I thought that was dirt that I could stick ropes into, but. There we are. <laughs> no, this is Demont's Mansion as well. Okay. I mean, that's nice and all, but that's not where I wanted to be, so... I want to go through the old sewers, which I'm having trouble with finding the keys for. I'm having trouble getting back out of this area. Oh, yeah. I dug these tunnels there, I should have done a better job. Mr. Dead Corpse, I assume it's your fault. Alright, I was trying to get upstairs in this place, and this is not getting me upstairs. Hmm. What's the story of upstairs? Well, that is the story of upstairs. Alright, please mantle. <laughs> Do Spice said park gate control. Alright, let's go to the park. Yes. Alright, and um, we'll take the monies. Good, good, good. <laughs> it's strange that the gate control is that far away from the gate. Show yourself. Sorry, I didn't realize I was so brightly lit up here, sir. It's all quiet. All right. Let's end the episode here. 
Uh, it's already run a little longer than usual. And next time, we'll check out the park. We'll see you then.